Hello and welcome to DVXUI. Today on this channel, we are going to make this animated hero section using Figma. Well, right now you don't see anything, but if I click on this hero section, the element appear with an animation. Not only this, if I hover my cursor on this one, it arrange itself into an order. So let's see how can we make this one using Figma. So because I wanted this video to be focused on animation only, what I have done over here is I have prepared this resources frame where you're going to find all the essential elements along with text and the images and the colors. Because if you want to create it from the scratch, you can do it as well. So let's start by taking a frame. All right, let's go over here. Perfect. So to take a frame, what you can do is you can hit F key on your keyboard and then you will be presented with all these options. Now go to desktop and select this desktop frame like that. After that, we need to prepare this frame. But right now, as you can see, this is quite small. If we select shift and two, it will zoom to perfect. Now in the fill, we are going to make it F5 which is a variant of white but not absolutely white. In that way, we will be able to create the difference between the nav bar and the background, which is coming right up. So we will go to resources, copy this header from here, just copy that, go to desktop and here paste it like that. Use this alignment to align it in the middle, then at the top. Well, this header is nothing special. It has some text like this. You can see the nav links and then a button. Nothing so special about it. One thing that is special over here is this border. So if I select this one and go over here in the stroke, you will find a weight of one border is provided, but only at the bottom, just to make a difference between these two sections. As you can see, all right. So now let's go to resources and pick few more elements. So select this one. We also need hero text along with this one, the button and this description. So just copy them, go to desktop and paste it over here. I'm just keeping this process fast enough so that we can quickly go to animation and learn that in a better way. So first of all, I'm going to select this one align it at the middle and from this Y position, I need it to be aligned at 150 like this. Perfect. Now, after that, I'm going to select this text along with this tab and then I will place it right in the middle, slightly at the bottom. Let's see the gap, select both and the gap between them should be well, it is showing mixed. So we need to select this one. Now select this one. And the gap is 36. We can take 32 as well, but I think 36 is fine. Now I will take this description, align it at the middle, then towards the top. Like that. Perfect. Now select the button in the middle, then at the top. In the middle, this one as well. Wait, wait, this is very important. So recently I launched this one course about the web designing and people loved it too much. So what I'm doing over here is I have taught about the UI UX principles. So you see the text and the animations there that are taught in detail in this course. And then I also designed few websites to tell you that how Figma works and how you can make amazing website designs. Not only this one, we have the animations 3D website, design freelance, and then combining all the project that you are going to do in this course, we have created a portfolio website for you all. So I hope you're going to join this one. I'm really excited to see you all there. All right, let's move on with the hero section designing. Perfect. So our hero text is perfectly ready. Now what we need to do over here is we need to prepare the pictures and also animate them. So let's see how can we do that. So first of all, 
I'm going to go to this resources and I'm just going to copy all these pictures. Go to desktop and here I'm going to paste all my pictures. Now, first of all, there are steps to create that arranging effect. So for that, I will go over here and the first step is to take a frame. Drop it over here and now this is quite big. So we will go over here in the width and change its dimension to 286 and in the height it is going to be 300 like that and it is over here. Let me paste it over here. Perfect. Now in the corner radius, I'm going to write 1616. Then after that, we will go to stroke and in the weight, it is going to be, let's say one, but this opacity is going to be 30% and this position is going to be outside. I know the border is not visible, but it will be visible once we are on a background in the hero section. Perfect. So we have our frame ready. Now one more thing that I want to do over here with this one is I need to select this one. Then I will go to effects and then I will provide it a drop shadow so that it looks more realistic. So in the position, I'm going to write 12 in the Y as well. Now in the blur, I'm going to write 30 and in the color, I'm going to write, let it take 25. This is fine. Now cross it. The shadow has been provided as you can see. Perfect. Now we need four more copies of it. So just select it, control D and few more times. Perfect. So all of them are created. Place it over here. Now I'm going to copy these pictures and put them in this frame. So just copy that, paste it over here. I'm just going to make this process fast forward. All right, so all the pictures have been put in the frame. Now I'm going to select this frame and in the spacing, at first, I'm going to provide 24. Like that, perfect. Now after that, I'm going to provide them an auto layout. So right click and then go to add auto layout. Like that, perfect. So now they are inside this one frame. Now after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change their angle slightly. So this rotation angle that I'm going to change. So select this first one and change this to three degrees and this one to six degrees. This one is going to be zero and this one is going to be four and this one is going to be minus three just to make it look more messy. Now after that, I'm going to select this one then in the gap now i'm going to write minus 64 like that perfect now this width is 1254 we don't want this we want a fixed width of 1542 like this and since the alignment over here is the start so we need to make it at the center so it was left we made it center now after that, what we need to do over here is we need to select it and make one more copy of it like this, put it over here. All right. Now for the second one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this gap and write here 24 like this. Perfect. And then I'm going to select all these pictures, individual, these frames basically. And here in the rotation, I'm going to write zero degrees now perfect so now this is perfectly aligned this is going to be the first state and this is going to be the second state of our animation now we need to animate them so for that i'm going to select both of them then go to this flower like icon beside this we have this chevron and click here create component set perfect so now it's a set now select first one, then switch to prototype and then take out this noodle from this plus icon and place it over here. Remember that that plus icon you're going to find on this edge, not this plus icon. This is to create another variant. 
we already have our variant over here. All right. So I will select this transition and the interaction menu will open up. Now in the trigger, it is going to be while hovering because if I hover my cursor over this one, it should change to this one. Then I will go to animation, make it smart animate. And this is going to be ease out. Perfect. And the duration is going to be 600 milliseconds. Perfect. So our arranging animation is created, but let's see if it is also working right. So let's go over here in the assets, then over here and select this one, then insert instance. So instance is nothing but a child of this parent. Perfect. So I have selected this one. Now I will select this and give it a flow starting point. If you are on this prototype, you will find this flow starting point. So select it. All right. Now click on this movie icon. This will open this little window over here. This is going to demonstrate our animation. So now if I hover my cursor over this one, it is arranging, which is perfect. That's how we wanted it to act. So cross it. Now what we can do is we can remove this flow. So select it and leave it. Now select this one. So just control X to cut it from there. And here in the desktop, I'm going to paste it like that and put it below the button. Perfect. Let's see the gap. Select both in the design. And where's the spacing? 56 we need. All right. Perfect. So we have created this animation. But this page had two type of animation. The first one is this internal animation that we have just created. Now we also need to make page transition animation. But I just noticed there we have an empty space. So let's see how can we fill this empty space. Well, there is an easy solution. So I have copied a text and here I'm going to paste it. So this is nothing but a dummy text. If you see lorem ipsum and if you go over here in the typography, you will find all the settings along with this opacity. Perfect. So this is done. All right. So this is how it is looking. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it over here like this and then make one more copy of it. Perfect. Because now we are moving ahead with the page transition. So align it. Now what I'm going to do is I need to align all these element present over here. So first of all, in this first one, I'm going to select this and this text and put them down until they are completely invisible like this. Perfect. So it is present in this frame over here, but not visible. So that when we move from this one to this one, it will come from the bottom. All right. Now, after that, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to select this one and put it behind our frame like that. But if you saw, let me show you something. So if I place it over here, it is going to overlap with this navbar. We don't want that. So right click and make it send to back. And now place it at the top and slightly up. Perfect. Now I'm going to select this text along with this one and then right click and make it frame selection. In this way, it will be contained in a frame. Now, if I select this one, go to file, you will find the text and this frame. This one is contained inside one more frame. So now I can select these two and put them at the bottom. Now you are still able to see this text. It is because this parent frame of the text has this clip content disabled. We need to enable that like this. Now select it once more because we need to put them down. Perfect. So now it is present over here, but not visible to us. The same thing is going to happen with this description. So right click, provide a frame, then open this one, select this text, put it down 
like this select the frame and clip content i guess this is placed at the very bottom perfect now now for this button we are going to do something different so here i'm going to select this one and in the opacity i'm going to write zero percent in this way it will have the opacity of zero percent but when we are going to move to this one it will have the 100% opacity. You're going to see that effect in a minute. Now we need to animate this. Everything is finished. Now we just need to animate the page transition. So for that, switch to prototype. Select this first frame. Connect it with the second one. In the interaction menu, I'm going to keep it on click so that I can control it. But in the natural environment, the website animates when it has loaded completely. All right, so I'm going to keep on click, but if you want, you can also take it after delay. So after eight seconds, basically 800 milliseconds, it is going to load up, but it is totally up to you. I'm going to keep on click. Perfect. And this is going to be smart animate, ease out, and the duration is going to be 800 milliseconds. Cross this. Now select this one, the second one, take this noodle and align it to this first one. The interaction is going to be on click, animation, smart animate, curve is out, duration 800 milliseconds. And we are done with all the things that were required. So now we should be able to select this one and play it in the prototyping mode. So let it load and see how it is looking. Perfect. So we have our frame over here and let me make it full screen like that. Now, if I go over here and click on this one, everything appears with an animation. This is perfect. This is how we want it. But now let's see if this images are arranging itself. So if I take my cursor over on this one, all right, this is also working very right. Perfect. It means we have achieved the goal of this video and I think you also have made it along with me. And if you did, consider sending it to our telegram group. There, designers will help you learn about the flaws and the mistake you did. In that way, you will be able to correct yourself and become a better designer. With this, I think now it's time to say goodbye. We will meet in the next one.